Well, all right. So we watched Minoru Suzuki, Senshiro Tagaki from DDT, June 1, 2017, Tokyo Dome Empty Arena match. Now, this was recommended on the board. I don't know why I keep going to this thread. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the match itself. Like, the match was very entertaining. It's Minoru Suzuki. But did anybody on the board bother to tell us before we started watching that it's not the entire match? They go, hey, it's up for free on YouTube. So we watch 26 minutes of this match, and then it just ends. And there's no finish. And I'm like, that's not the end. I scour the internet and find out that they gave away the first 26 minutes. But if you want to see the final 10 minutes, you have to sign up for DDTWorld.com. It's a tease. Yeah. So we are going to watch the first part of this and or review the first part. And then our show is going to go off the air just like their show did. That's right. And if you want more, you have to sign up for DDT World. To get our review. Yes. Yeah. That don't... Someone will believe me. Don't sign up to DDT World expecting our review. It won't be on there. So, Minoru Suzuki's walking down the street to have a match. That's just what it sounds like. <laughs> he walk, they, they cut inside the Tokyo Dome. A huge, spacious cavern. There's a baseball diamond set up. There's about 50 photographers... One referee and no other human life. Out comes Tagaki, who I'm not familiar with and have never seen before. But he comes out, he fires up the non existent fans, he does a lap around the bases and celebrates a home plate. And then Suzuki's music plays. He emerges from the dugout. They do full introductions. They play his music. Yeah. He's doing his entire entrance. Mm -hmm. He's got the never open way title. He. Literally gets into an invisible ring. Yes. He steps over the middle rope mm -hmm. and gets inside his yeah. invisible ring and does key... his entire intro. This is a key point. There's not a wrestling ring in the middle of the baseball diamond. It's just a baseball field. So out comes Aja Kong to sing yes. the national anthem. As she is singing, the wrestlers are getting antsy. They get into a shoving match, but she steps in to separate them because it's her song and she's going to finish it. I love that. This is why I love pro wrestling. No other sport could do something so preposterous as this. You don't say. But man, they got away with it. Asha's doing her singing, and they're jaw jacking at each other, and she keeps getting in between them, and they try and get, she gets back in between them again, and they respect her. Oh, sure. It's Aja Kong. Yes. So they wait until she's done, and it's an empty arena match. The only people in the building are like some production people. There's some cameramen, mm -hmm. there's boom mic operators, whatever. That kind of thing, yes. So... She finishes the song, and it's deadly silent. And then off camera, you hear there's like five guys clapping, <laughs> and Minoru Suzuki just turns around as if to say, "Who the fuck is clapping? You stop that right now!" And to appreciate the full comedy, you have to realize it's a dome. <laughs> it's an enormous stadium. Yes, five people clapping. So. The bell rings, they fire up the invisible fans, and there's only two things you can do in a baseball stadium. You can brawl, and you can do submission holds. You can't run the ropes, you certainly can't take many bumps. So that's what they did for like 10 minutes. They have a hilariously bad brawl early. Yeah. It's so bad. Like, Suzuki does this running boot where he's running the bases and does this big boot. He puts Tagaki in an arm bar. Mm -hmm. They're in the middle of a giant dome. There's no ropes. There's no escape. Yes. But Tagaki climbs and he puts his hand on home plate. And the referee says, break! Or <laughs> there are base breaks. And Suzuki looks at the ref and he's actually laughing. And he goes, he's safe! <laughs> it's home plate. So they do the same spot around the bases. Suzuki gets to second base. They Eventually, they've done all they can do on this field now. So they, one of them grabs a headlock. They go up into the stands where there is randomly a masked wrestler plugging his website. Super Sasadango machine. I'm he's so actually, happy he's got I didn't a, look that up. He's got a PowerPoint presentation. Aha. Yes. And Suzuki... Suzuki's very annoyed at him. Yes. As most people annoy Suzuki. And he chastises this man, slaps his head, threatens to unmask him. But before anything can come of it, Tagaki makes a save with a fire extinguisher. That's right. 
So they go up into the hallways and the concourses and the stairs, and suddenly there's just a fat guy in yellow there. Gota Ehashi. Mm -hmm. He is a very, very round, fat comedy guy. And yeah, I agree. Suzuki is just, he's just pounding. They're, they're brawling right there in the stairwell. And Suzuki, is his back is to Gota. Yeah. And so Gota starts slapping him and chopping him. And Tagaki, meanwhile, is still hitting him from the front. Yes. Suzuki is Tagaki. not selling any of this. And so finally Suzuki Tagaki. turns around and he sees Oda, uh, Gota Ihashi here. And he fucking kicks the holy fucking shit out of this guy. The loudest kick you've ever seen. Like, Gota's back is to the camera. And you just see Suzuki look at him with that face. And then you see his foot come up and you just hear... And Gota falls down, and he bumps all the way down the stairs, which is a very impressive bump for such a fat guy. But he is well padded. He is. Bumps, and he rolls all the way down the stairs. Uh. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Minoru Suzuki can make anything great. Yes. Like this, there was some wackiness here, but this, the... the, the uh, the joke was already starting to wear thin by this point, but when he he's getting hit front and back by these two guys, and he's no selling all of it, and his slow burn and sneer at the fat guy, and then kicking him in the head and down the stairs was awesome. So they keep brawling up and up and up. Eventually, now they're in the third deck. They're in the third deck, brawling right by the edge. And they, they tease throwing each over over the railing. Yep. To the to certain doom. Yep. And the announcers, by the way, are laughing at this. Yes. I'm like, this is not fucking funny. And like, I know no one died, but I'm afraid that they will die this time. One guy, I think one guy at one point did swing his leg over the rail. Yeah. And they were, they were, they went, they went more farther with this than they needed to. So there's a lady up there. I believe she was selling waters or something. Yeah. Something. But this uh, went over my head. This part. So Minoru pissed her off. So she booted him in the face, and she booted Tagaki in the face. And then suddenly they were back on the concourse and the fat guy was talking to Minoru again and getting his ass kicked again. Yeah, he tried to chop him again. He tried to he tried to be Minoru Suzuki. He starts chopping him and cackling, which is uh, Suzuki's gimmick is cackle. Aha. And Suzuki fucking kills him again and he falls down the stairs a second time. Yeah. So then there's a white guy dressed up like a cheerleader singing in Japanese. Well, first we had Suzuki. They're in the lobby. And Suzuki gives him the running penalty kick. Didn't bother to cover. I don't know what happened there. And Lady Beard showed up. It's the name of this. I can see that. And in the middle of the brawl, Takagi runs over and they perform a musical number. Yeah. Some sort of Valentine song or something like that. And then Suzuki goes back to kick his ass. Half the time I called him Tagaki. Which, is it Tagaki or Takagi? It's Takagi. Takagi. Replace all. There we go. Eight replacements found. So, they keep fighting and fighting and fighting. There's a guy in jeans and a wife beater who, as far as I can tell, bribed officials to let him be in the match. No, it's Ken Oka is his name. Okay. And he was, he was not trying to bribe officials. He was trying to convince them to let him run a show in the Tokyo Dome. Aha. And Suzuki got a hold of him and kicked his ass and stole his <laughs> money. his money. Yeah. So, they take his money and, you know... This Ken Oka is following him all over after he's taken his money. He's trying to get his money back. So there's a janitor there mm -hmm. who ends up being June Kasai. He's a deathmatch worker. Uh -huh. So he fucking takes off his janitor stuff. And then Takagi and Suzuki yes. work together <laughs> to put a table. They lay Ken Oka on the table. June Kasai finds a ladder. He's a janitor. Climbs up to the top and he does a big splash, puts the guy through the table. Yes. And Suzuki and Tagagi celebrate, and then keep right on fighting. Go back to kicking each other's yeah. ass. So they keep cutting back and forth from the fight to the fat guy, who I thought was just sulking in the stairwell. He was sleeping. Supposed to be asleep. Yeah. I thought he was just pouting because he got his ass kicked twice. Well, he was, his eyes were closed and he was snoring. I see. He was dreaming of pouting. So, But the best part of this is he's sleeping on the stairs, and Suzuki and Takagi are brawling further up the stairwell, but yeah. you can't see him. You can hear him. You can see him. Or you can hear him. But like, it was like what WWE does, but this was funny because it was on purpose. They just keep the camera on Goda forever. Yes. They don't show him and then cut to the brawl and then cut back to him and cut back to the brawl. 
They just focus on him, and he's sleeping. And you just hear, ah, ah, forever. Yes. Before they finally come around the corner, and Suzuki knocks him down the stairs again. For a third time. They go down this hallway where a random Muay Thai fighter is sparring. Yes. And neither man wants anything to do with this They're both terrified of the Muay Thai fighter until finally Suzuki realizes, wait a minute, wait a minute. I am Minoru Suzuki. I cannot back down from any man, regardless of his discipline. So he squares off with a guy and they are about to fight. But at the last second, Takagi tries to run past them by the hallway, down the hallway. And the Muay Thai fighter blocks him and literally kicks his ass. But this gives Suzuki a chance to run behind him, pass him down the hallway. He tiptoes. He tiptoes he down the hallway. He past him. He turns around and giggles. <laughs> I've outsmarted them both. Have we mentioned how great Minoru Suzuki is? You don't need to. He's in the Hall of Awesome. He sure what is. What more do you need? He, he sure has is. his own fucking wing. Yeah. So... They keep brawling, and now the one run-in guy I recognized was Dan Shukudino and his crew of, his crew, all sorts of homoerotic hijinks going on. And then the video just... Basically, they try to hump the guy. Pretty much, yeah. And uh, then it ended. <laughs> now, so for, turn into part two to see if they humped him or not. I was very upset because we missed a lot of great stuff, including Tenru making a cameo. Uh-huh. I hate to spoil it, everybody, but we're trying to review the whole thing. Suzuki wins the match... He finally hits the gotch pile driver. He had tried it earlier, couldn't get it. Then the kickboxer showed up. He finally hits it, I believe, on home plate, gets the pin. And then afterwards, Takagi announces that he is going to retire. Oh. This is his final match. And so they decide to do a 10 bell salute for his career. And they stand there and they begin to ring the bell. And at 7. Kagi reveals it is a swerve, he gives Minoru Suzuki a stone-cold stunner, Aha! leaves him laying, and they set up a future match on an uninhabited island. <laughs> Excellent. So maybe that will be next. <laughs> I loved it. That's, that's you know who's that. awesome? Minoru Suzuki. He sure is. He's the fucking best. <laughs> he, really, he really is. He can make anything awesome. Yeah, he was 47 years old during this match. Yeah. He's better than ever. And think about the battles this guy, all the way since Pancras. I was looking it up. He's, he fought the Shamrock. He fought Boss Rutten. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's the best. So yeah, check it out, everybody. The first 26 minutes is on YouTube. And then you can subscribe to DDT World to get the rest.